I'm sure everyone understands today the inherent risks of putting anything out on the internet, right? It's a global network, it's designed to reach everywhere, it's designed to have, give access to everyone. And of course that allows uh, room for bad actors to come into play. DDoS advanced threats and malware are all fairly closely interrelated. A lot of the DDoS attacks that we see going on out there today come from botnets. And botnets are just distributed networks of computers that have been compromised with malware and are therefore under the control of an attacker. Uh, they could be your home PC, they could be your cell phone, that, uh, that, that your iPhone or your Android based phone, uh, that are used to carry out an attack against some third party. Some DDoS attacks can be considered advanced threats. Advanced threats really are just threats that are targeted, have a predetermined goal, and where attackers are willing to dedicate significant amounts of time and resource to achieving that goal. And some DDoS attacks do match those criteria. In the last three years, what we're seeing is an incredible rise in the complexity and the diverse nature of the attacks that are coming from these uh, bad actors, from these hackers, from cyber criminals. We've seen that DDoS is, is often used as a smokescreen or even as a component of a larger attack that could be aimed at data exfiltration, uh, at perhaps an advanced persistent threat uh, embedding something into your network uh, with the ultimate purpose of getting stuff out of the network. They're going after the money, they're going after governments, they're going after just about everyone. So this is a much more complex landscape that we need to be prepared to deal with. For instance, the, uh, the Sony PlayStation attacks of a couple of years ago were a great example of that, where uh, a DDoS attack on the front end was uh, really used to tie up all the operational resources that Sony had to bear uh, while the, the attackers actually went through the back end and actually in, uh, took a bunch of credit card data from the company uh, and then exfiltrated it out for their own nefarious purposes. DDoS is just one form of malware. When I think of malware, there's so many different variants, there's so many different tools that are used. And what we see is that these tools are prol proliferating. They're getting easier to find, they're getting easier to use. Unfortunately, attackers, cyber criminals, whatever their motivation might be, um, are getting very adept at mixing um, these tools and techniques together and combining them to make it more likely that they will achieve their goals, whatever they might actually be. You really do need to have a blended approach of having on-premise as well as carrier or cloud-based protection to, to really be effective in your defenses. Mm -hmm.